welcome back to my channel. It's good to be back. I feel like it's been a while, but look, it's been hectic over here. I went back to England for a couple of weeks to step back into my old life and play a couple of shows with my old band, Young Guns. We hadn't played together in nearly seven years, so that just felt so surreal to be back with the boys, back on stage and back behind the drum kit. But then on the flip side, I hadn't been apart from Lennon for that long since he's been alive, so all I wanted to do was come home, give him a big cuddle, but the problem was the day I got back into LA, he gets COVID, so we had to just do what we can to keep him safe, keep ourselves safe and cancel obviously all our plans and he's doing great now, he's a little trooper, but obviously one thing that did suffer in the last few weeks has been diet, so not today. We're getting back with nothing but goodness in today's What We Eat In Today. So for brekkies, we're gonna be serving blueberry and coconut smoothie. So we're gonna start the day off with what I like to call my power shake because it's bright, it's light, and it's packed with delight. It's got all the ingredients we need to set ourselves up for success. And look, I'm a believer these days and everything happens for a reason and your thoughts become your reality. And coming back to LA with this mindset about wanting to eat clean and just have a really sort of good setup for the week, the lovely guys at Thrive Market reached out and wanted to send me some stuff. Oh, so many goodies in here. If anyone that doesn't know Thrive Market, they're an online membership-based grocery store and their mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone, which I think is absolutely amazing. We've been using Thrive for a long time now. We love their range of products. They do lots of eco-friendly, organic, and also because you know me and Jen and Len now, we have a lot of dietary differences and we've got a baby, we've got no meat, we've got everything. So their range from paleo to keto to vegan, gluten-free, whatever you need and they have over 90 diet and value options for us. So I think that should be enough. It's really easy to sign up. You can browse your favorite brands. You can filter your catalog to fit your diet and your lifestyle. And if you don't like it, it's risk free. So you've got 30 days to change your mind, but you're not gonna change your mind because they're just too good guys. And look, we've got everything we need for the smoothie. We've got some oats, we've got some protein, we've got some flaxseed, we've got some chia seeds. Cheers guys, absolutely thrive to survive. So thank you Thrive for the sponsorship. If you guys are interested and you want 30% off your first order plus a free gift, head over to thrivemarket.com forward slash Ben Jolliffe. I'll leave a description below, but for now, let's crack on with a lovely smoothie. First, we're gonna add some almond milk. Wait, are you taking notes? Because we're about to add the oats. Then we're gonna get a little bit merry with the blueberry. Now that I'm back in the Americana, we've got to have a banana. Right, and then have no fear, we got the cheer. Oh, three cheers for cheer seeds, guys. And then we're gonna need, indeed, the flax seed. So we've got a lovely bit of coconut yogurt here. And then to get nice and lean, we're gonna need the protein. Going for vanilla, because we know that's a winner. And then just a bit of ice, just to make it nice. And there you have it, we are ready to blend. Right, and then our lovely blueberry shake is ready to serve. Oh, all right guys, now this is what I call a breakfast. You know, you don't have to eat your breakfast, you can drink it, as long as there's goodness in there. Mmm, wow, that's so good. The blueberry and coconut, oh, it's a match made in heaven. Throw all the goodness in there. You don't have to cook anything. You drink your breakfast, so easy. And especially for me now, trying to get back into the routine. I feel like sometimes it's good to get your routine knocked off slightly because that means when you come back into it, you can have a new intention, a new drive to be the best version of yourself. And for me, going home, tapping back into that old life, gave me so much perspective and gratitude for that life, but also for my new life as well. And I think even with Lennon getting COVID and it could have felt like a disastrous week, but in reality, it's all about perspective. It's not about the what ifs, it's about what is. We just accepted the moment. And in fact, we actually had a week of undisturbed time with our son. And that was the most we've actually spent with Lennon. It was such a beautiful experience for us. And I think that's such a good example and why we should never judge an experience as good or bad. I know it's easier said than done, but if we can be aware in that moment, you can really help just, just let the flow of life go. So that way you can thrive. Oh, bit of sponsorship there. Right, lunch. So it is lunchtime and we're gonna make the most beautiful dish that you can't resist, the peach and burrata salad. This dish is beautiful, it's elegant, it's packed filled with goodness, of course. The peach offers such a beautiful, fruity kind of summer vibe. Then you've got the creaminess from the burrata. If you've not had burrata before, you burrata go get yourself some because it is divine. So this dish is beautiful. To make the sauce, we need half a cup olive oil, quarter cup balsamic vinegar, 
One tablespoon of honey. We're gonna pop some lemon zest in here. Then we're gonna finely chop a shallot. Lovely, thanks a lot. Finely chop a little bit of garlic. Get it in there. And we're going in on the herbs for this one. We're gonna get some basil from the garden. Nice and fine. Then we're gonna get some thyme because time after time, it works every time. Right, we can never say no to the oregano. This is a fantastic herb. Obviously fresh herbs elevate any dish, but especially something like a salad because they're not getting cooked down, they're fresh, they're bright. They can just be the best versions of themselves, you know? We're not done yet, guys. We're gonna get a lovely bit of dill as well. Delightful. A few red pepper flakes. And then we wanna give this a good old fashioned mix up until nice and smooth. Then we're just gonna set that aside. Next, we're gonna get some cherry tomatoes. We wanna half them. Then we're gonna throw these in a large bowl. Then we'll get some lovely peaches. So we cut like an avocado, give it a twist. Now we slice these into nice wedges. Lovely. All right, next up, we got some lovely cherries. Slice them in half and take the pit out, like a mini peach. See, I wasn't lying when I said nothing but goodness, guys. Just gonna add some of the sauce for now, give it a little mix up, and we are ready to plate. Nothing but goodness. Nothing but goodness. This is what today is all about. Cheers, babe. This is insane. This mm -hmm. is unreal. Mm -hmm. Wow. Top five salads I've ever had. Maybe top three. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The flavors, they go so wonderfully yeah. together. Right, see you guys for some more goodness at dinner. Right guys, so it is dinner time and we're just gonna keep this goodness going. We're not gonna stop because tonight we're gonna be making a beautiful rainbow teriyaki bowl with salmon. Again, this is packed, filled with goodness. It's beautiful, it's delicious, and of course it's nutritious. I mean, I feel like we're way past our five a day now. We're like 15 a day, but we're gonna keep it going. So, we've got some mushrooms. We give them a nice slice, lovely. we we'll put that in a bowl. Then we'll get a nice pepper. We'll give it a rustic chop, pop the peppers in a bowl. Lovely bit of red cabbage. It's a bit weird, isn't it? We call red cabbage red cabbage, but it's just clearly purple, isn't it? It's not even, it's not even nearly red. Give it a nice rustic chop again. Then we're gonna get a carrot and julienne it. We're gonna add that into a bowl, along with some spring onions. Then we're just gonna add some rice vinegar. Lovely, set that aside. Then for the salmon, baking sheet. We need olive oil. We need our salmon. We wanna make sure the top gets nicely coated with olive oil. A nice slice of lemon on each, give it a bit of freshness, some salt, a little bit of pepper. Just a dash of Italian herbs, you don't need much. I'm just gonna throw this in the oven, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. Right, let's get the frying pan out. We'll add some oil. We'll get that nice and hot. We'll add our mushrooms. And as you can see, the mushrooms are getting nice and brown. We're gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna add our peppers, our purple cabbage. As you can see, they're softening up, they're smelling delightful. We're gonna get some lovely edamame. Then we're gonna reduce the heat, add our teriyaki sauce. We're gonna add the mushrooms back in. Some lovely sesame oil. Our veggies are looking good. Let's check on the salmon. Oh, look at that, perfect. The salmon's looking great. Now all we have to do is plate. First, we're gonna add some rice. I just did microwavable. And then we'll get our beautiful veggies, our lovely bits of carrot, our lovely piece of salmon, and a couple of sesame seeds to top it off. Look at that. Now we have our delightful rainbow teriyaki bowl with a lovely bit of salmon. Oh, guys, last but not least, look at this. So much goodness. I can't believe how many times I've said the word goodness. Oh. Mmm, the bite from the veggies, the teriyaki sauce, gives a little bit of sweetness. I mean, you guys saw how easy this was. Just throw in some veggies, give it a cook, and you're all good, right? And I feel like anything in life, it's all about setting that intention. So for me this week, I wanted to eat cleaner, healthier, so I set that intention, I had the belief, and everything else followed that. And I feel like whatever we wanna do in life, whether it's eating cleaner, being more present, more happy, more career-driven, whatever it is, set that intention, have the belief, and then you're ready to thrive. So on that note, thank you Thrive for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna keep eating this off camera, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.